Now we come on to the Yi. The Yi Jing. The I Ching. Book of Changes. The Changes. Which is what the, in the Western tradition, in the Kabbalah, they call the Book of Toth. The Book of Truth is the Yi. The Yi Jing. And these are the hexagrams of the Yi Jing. We have the first and the second. The first is the point, which is the energy coming out, the yang. And then number two is the yin, the energy returning. The energy that's being received, that's being received. It's a flow of energy. The yang flows in. The energy, sorry, the yang flows into into us, and then the yin is the returning energy. What we give back. And what what others receive from us. The received. Then we come on to three and four. Three is difficulty in the beginning, which is inertia, the difficulty of moving from the point to the line. The four, youthful folly, the same as the Kabbalah, the, the fool, or the tarot is the fool. We have youthful folly, which is missing the point, the luck keeping moving and missing the point. So, which is momentum like a clown falling over, tripping over, you know, going too far, being over the top, falling over, going too far, We're at the point moving, momentum, which is three, difficult in the beginning, but inertia, then momentum. Then we have five and six. X around five is waiting. But really it's waiting is consideration at a meal it's a meal time. This is this is the table. This is the table. The house to the table, the surface. So it's meal time, it's being fed from the breast. So it's waiting, waiting for food. Or it's a, six is conflict, you know, not getting any food, not being fed. Five is waiting, waiting for a reward. You must wait for your reward. And there's conflict because you're not getting a reward, you're not being fed. Primarily the mother is approving of feeding you or disapproving of you and not feeding you. And come on to Gimel, the seven and eight. The seven is the, the descent of the spirit into the heart, the incarnation, which is the general in the midst of the army. Suddenly you're here and you're surrounded by everybody. This is the army. And then it's returning, you know, to that set collective unity by reporting back. Which is eight, eight holding together in the administration, what needs to be done to hold, hold together with others. And we come on to nine and ten. The nine is moving, moving on your own path. The lesser nourisher. And then ten is conduct. Your, your conduct as you move along that path, whether you keep within the limits, keep up to the line, keep in lane. You know, keep your conduct according to the law, according to the instructions that you're following. Nine and ten. Then eleven and twelve. Eleven is peace when you're freely moving. And then twelve is stagnation when the door is closed. So this is the door, remember, from the Kabbalah. So when it's open, it's peace. When it's closed, 
the stagnation when it's just movement and obstructive movement is peace. Come to 13 and 14. 13 is fellowship with men, which is moving together as a clique. 14 is accelerating away from others or seeing another example. You know, the great possession, the, the faster one accelerating away is the 14. The 13 is the clique, the constellation that you're moving with. There, there's the star. There's the movement. See the constellation moving together. Oh, there is the, the comet. The bright comet, like SI 2012 for next year. It's 13, it's fellowship with men, the people, the influences, that we, you know, the, the, whose behaviour we copy and move together. And then 14 is an example, a role model that we follow. 15 and 16. 15 is completing the task and returning home. 16 is having the confidence to leave home and deal with the task, to move out. So 15 is in. 16... Is out broadcasting. It's out. If you like, if we're moving the structure, it's in position. It's in the right point, in the right place, or it's out of position. This is not one instruction we hear. It's in or out. We come on to being a seventeen or eighteen. Seventeen is mirroring, following, reflecting, empathy. Appropriateness in in a certain situation or dealing with others in mirroring, and eighteen is decay. Work on what has been spoiled. So we mirror, and then we correct. We view, and then we correct. We correct, you know, our feelings or the balance. You know, in if you think in terms of food, someone's got too much food. Restrict that give the food to somebody else see the function of the mother of the mirroring and of the correcting the behaviour you know, the, the, say the behaviour at the table the manners at the table sharing the food to sharing and living with others generally coming from those relationships And 19, 19 and 20, 19 is approach, which means inspection, approaching. And then 20 is contemplation. You know, the beloved, the choice, the chosen one, the one you've chosen, the 20. So you see the surface, the sea, the surface, and you inspect it. Inspe inspecting the surface, there's the surface coming to the eye, which is the inspection. And then there's the eye going to the surface, which is the selection, the choice, the beloved. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-one, biting through. You know, is the biting through, is the testing for the bitterness. Remember, there's an up and down reflection here, so we saw the tooth there. There's the biting through, the testing whether something's ripe, whether it's hard and unripe, or soft and ripe. It's a test. So we're testing the order, the order of words of the grammar. We're trying to get it right, correcting the order, biting through. And then we're getting it right, like the metal being mirrored, which is the money, the coin, the metal, or it's the, the metal, it's the ornament, it's the, the reward of doing the right thing at the right time. That's why Confucius said it, it was local, local success, because, you know, the individual has done the right thing at the right time, which must be local and immediate. 
23, 24, come into Hesed, come in to sphere of the home. 23 is leaving the home. 24 is returning to the home. Twenty three is cutting apart, evaporation, trying out. Twenty four is condensation, the water returning. If you think of it like a salmon going out and then following the smell back to the water where it where it came from. Twenty three and twenty four. Twenty five is going out of the home f facing with time in the words that things will go wrong this is Murphy's Law so it's dealing with problems water coming to metal rust breakdown the unexpected accidents coming at us from other people's behaviour from other people's driving remember this is the driver and then 26 is you know the time coming to the space so it's returning, it's finishing at the end of the day is the great nourisher bringing home the bacon, the breadwinner coming back home with the money, with the metal the creative cycle we have 27, 28 27, 28. This is mixing with others and then being back on our own. You know, with focusing on our individual life. And then there is, you know, the, the uh, social function. You know, where we act, you know, exaggerate, you know, the self-importance. So we, we, we you know, we concerned with our own right livelihood. Or we're concerned with our own vanity and social position. This is on 27, 28. This is why at the end of the 28th year there is that, you know, the peak of destruction. When you get overwhelmed by other people. Then we come down to 29 and 30. 29 is the winter when people are close together. 30 is the summer when every people are far apart but things are hot. So we get that oscillation of temperature as we draw closer together. Remember this is space and time and the energy. Remember this is the friction, the oscillations. That's how we come on to that. This is 31, 32. 31 is sensitivity. You know, we're sensitive to the pressure. 32 is endurance. We have to endure that constant pressure. So we have to adapt. So this is sensitivity, this is adaptation. So you can see it's a nervous thing. You know, we are sensitive to certain changes in the environment, then we adapt. We, 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 so we, we get used to, say, our clothes on us, you know, the, the objects you know, the, the temperature of our room, our environment, the moods of the people around that, are living with, that we're living with, you know, those sorts of situations, we adapt to that, and then we're sensitive to changes. It's 31, 32. Instagram 33, retreat in 34, the power of the great, 33. Retreat, the breath, you know, the voice, the thinking, the, you know, the, the voice, the sound of the voice, you know, the lungs, the, you know, the control of the breath. But to calm down, to retreat, get your breath. And then 34, the power of the great, you know, the, you know the, if you like, the heavy metal. The movement of the bowels, the strain, the regularity, 
rather disciplined. Thirty-four, thirty-three is you know retreat, getting your breath, catching your breath. So it's dealing with what's happening now. Thirty-four is delaying. So things are regular. There's a regular movement every day. So there's waiting. So restraint. It's holding back, waiting for the right time. Thirty-three is getting ready to deal with, to act at the right time. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-five is the dawn. Thirty-six is the dusk. The, the 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 time for the sun. The time to the sun. So you've got dawn and dusk. At so dawn, we have to get out and fulfil the day's chores and appointments, which is thirty-five meeting the different connections. Thirty-six is the dusk, the darkening of the light, the reading, remember the seeing the characters, the words, you know, which is putting the sounds onto the words, so it's understanding, working out the meaning. So in the evening we read, and in the day we act, we meet others and talk, negotiate. This is 35 and 36. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-seven is getting on with people. Thirty-eight is not getting on with people. Thirty-seven is the family, the close bond in the family. Thirty-eight is estrangement, the full moon. Thirty-seven is the family, the new moon, the new beginning together today. Thirty-eight is the full moon, the estrangement, the friction. The people we don't get on with, we get this oscillation in feelings and reactions. Thirty-nine is a problem. Forty is a solution. The release of the problem. Oh dear. <laughs> That's the release. Forty-one, forty-two. Forty-one is the heart. 42 is this morning testing. 41 is the, you know, the, the, the fancies, the whims of the heart. 42 is the gain, you know, the quality. 43 is moving forwards. 44 is stopping, is an alarm. Do not, do not marry. 44. 45 is gathering together by hunting and gathering. It's gathering the, the, the actions and choosing things. Hunting and gathering. Gathering together, collecting things. 46 is planning. See, 45 is the gallbladder, which is decisions. Decisions of what to buy. 46 is the liver, the plans in the plans, you know, that, that, that we need to live to sustain our lives, the plans, the plans for the future, for the next year, for the year, year, years of our lives, of our children's lives, for the cycles of the seasons, you know, the clothes we need for these different seasons, the, the food we need for different seasons, this is the plans. This is the remember. This is the pressure, the touch. Is those changing seasons and times of our lives. Forty-five and forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-seven is exhaustion. Do you remember? This is the flow of things. So there's things flowing through our mind, through our hands, and there's an exhaustion with work, just with time, just with the flow of things, getting things and them decaying unsatisfactoriness, you know, but getting things and, you know, um, describing them and our descriptions not being believed, not being able to get what we want, that, you know, that they don't fit up to our descriptions. This is the exhaustion. This is the exhaustion. And 48 
you know, is the well, you know, that which cannot be changed, you know, the, the things that are available, what we live with, you know, the culture, the standard of living, uh, you know, of our class, of our situation. This is 48 that restricts, you know, the flow of things that we're able to get our hands on. 49, 50, 49 is revolution. Now, revolution is really demand. It's making demands. 50 is sacrifice. Is really supply. It is what what is sacrificed or given for our demands with the revolution. So, revolution, catch a fire. Wood creates fire. Revol the, the demands. The fire. The, that, you know, that demands and then the sacrifice. So we've got 49 and then we've got 50, the sacrifice, the fire that consumes the wood, that consumes our resources, that consumes our time. 51, 52, 51 is moving, arousing. 52 is keeping still, so it's just 51 is, you know, jump to it, move it, move. 52, keep still, 53, 54, 53, these are the objects, 53 is the scale, the gradual progress, the gradual progress, if you like going through the objects, we go through the scale, step, 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 and then the 54 is the rotation, you know, the catalogue, the object of our desires, the dream, the marriageable maiden, the object of our desires, the desired object, 54, 55, and 56, 55 is finding, 56 is seeking, so the traveller, 56, is seeking, is seeking a wife, really, or is travelling because he's in search of an object, 55 is abundance, is finding the object, 57, 58, 57, penetration, is fitting in, fitting the object, that object into position here in the world. And 58 is the joy that, the, you know, the object fits in. So fitting in is joy. If, the fern, if we fit into society, if the object fits in the room, if we fit in, there's joy, there's pleasure. So the penetration is fitting in. And then that fitting in leads to, leads to the pleasure. 59, 60, 59 is the expansion of fire. You know, the excitement. You know, the sexual excitement. 60 is the home, the home comfort. So you've got the excitement, sexual excitement and of nesting. And then you've got the home comfort of having the nest. This is in this 59, 60. 61, 62, 61 is the inner truth. The, the, the inner truth of your position, of your posture, that's in the inner truth. The sense, your, the kind of sense, sense that senses your posture, your attitude, or whatever on, that you need to be in for that action, which is the Kung Fu. 62 is, so 50, 61 is like a gear, 62 is the clutch, 62 is the small get by, the two plates that come together. The engagement, you know, engaging in, cooperating to build a life, obviously, incorporating with a, you know, partner, you know, in life, like in a sexual relationship. Or it's cooperating with a workmate it's in this energy relationship. And then finally, 63, 64, 63 is after completion. You know, it's in after completion is when the object's in position. 64 is the proposition, is the plan, is what's the movement going to be before completion. What's next? Now that is all the changes of the game.